Hi there, my name's Sam, and uh, we are back in a uh, little Sims art series that has been kind of ongoing. Um, I would like to finish it off here. Um, we have here, I gotta get used to pointing, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um, behind me is a mock-up, a couple of mock-ups that I did of the edit that I'm gonna do of um, some of the pictures we've taken. However, I found that I um, am sort of missing some things and uh, we're going to jump into the game and do a couple of little, take some sort of resource shots and then I think what I'm going to do is, it's currently Saturday night that I'm recording this, I think tomorrow I'm going to actually finish up the edit and um, maybe do like a, at the, like part of this video is going to be just like a fast forwarded version of maybe editing or something. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Um, but I guess you'll, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out because it'll be in this video right now. But yeah, so, um, I think what I need, I like this one. I need, what I really need is, let me get rid of my little, my little doodles. I'm going to do some thought bubbles, but see this, the grilled cheese is just like little, like it's, it's too small. I'm going to take some pictures of a group platter of grilled cheese. Um, so I have the game opened up here. Of course, Miss Satellite herself looks a little bit different. I actually really like this hair. I don't think I'm, I debated about going back and taking new pictures with her new hair because I really like this little do she's got going on. I think I'm going to keep the old hair just because that was what we had. That was kind of her OG look. Um, in the future, we'll use this look for her, but that was because then I was using Pooklet hairs and, um, so that was one of those. But I'm going to have her, let's see, I think she can reach how to grilled cheese. There we go. Okie dokie. And I don't think I'm going to worry too much about um, trying to get it to be, um, I don't know what I want to say. Like trying to get it to be like stinky, <laughs> you know, have gone bad. Um, I did this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have these be here and then this light ended up turning itself off. I've got a, this is a, can you turn on this light? Thank you. It's just going to cast a regular light. So it's going to be kind of a more of a, a regular light, not so such a dramatic light. And, but it's going to have a little bit of, we have a little bit of a, like a bounce light or a little bit of a subtle light, but yeah, we're just going to kind of do some basic little, little shots. I'm not sure how we want to do it exactly. Um, I so also I could um, put the reshade on. I reinstalled my reshade, and it's I think it works a little bit differently. And I don't remember what sh um, shader setting we chose. Okay, I don't think that's the right setting. I only know halfway what I'm doing with this thing, so <laughs> let's try that. Sure, why not? We'll just use this is like the basic one I usually play with. Doesn't want to turn off. There we go. The issue I'm realizing now is that this table is actually very close in color to the... I think I'd like to make it dark just so that I can, when I'm editing, um, it'll be easier to just kind of cut it out. Let's do that. There we go. I'm going to fast forward a while and let it go bad and see what happens. Oh, there we go. I can at least get an idea what the stink lines will look like and I could hand paint them back in. Um, I don't know if... I, I was thinking about putting together some other objects. One thing that's kind of interesting is I discovered that through my um, obsessive custom content downloading, I believe they're in here. Also, oh, there's some things in here that I didn't know were in here. Um, I have all these like decorative vehicles and one's a spaceship. I didn't know I had <laughs> I got a whole spaceship in here. Um, I wondered if that could be of any use. <laughs> Can we put a spaceship on an OMSP, make it sit up in the sky and like take a picture? Let me see. Nope, he doesn't really want to go up there. He doesn't really like that too much. What if we put him up here? Look at that, look at that lighting. That insta lighting. That could be a picture, see there we go. See that's a little bit better. Then I could get like a something. I don't know. It could be an interesting element to add in. I like this tower. I didn't know I put that there. That's kind of fun. Thanks past me. So yeah, I think that's about all I needed for just little extra stuff. 
Um, I think, that, like I said, this is going to be our last little episode of this picture. Um, it kind of dragged on longer than I wanted it to. Um, I'd like to do future little episodes of other Sims art stuff, but I'd like to make them just like shorter little bits and pieces. Um, one thing that I have been uh, getting into recently, which I think maybe would be an interesting um, video, is um, I got into, I started to try to play The Sims 4 again, and I didn't really like it. <laughs> um, I kind of just lost interest in the actual gameplay, but I really enjoy making Sims, and I discovered the um, world of uh, being able to take the Sims model out of The Sims and put it into Blender and then play with um, lighting and stuff. Um, I'm currently working on an overpainting of a portrait that I took um, where it's like digitally painting over it to just kind of make it its own new little thing. I don't know, it's kind of fun, so I might do that. Um, um, I think probably if I do, Helen will continue to be our main subject. I actually already made her in The Sims 4, and I was using her for experiments. Um, she looks a little different, but pretty similar. Anyway, um, I guess we're probably going to go into the next part. Hi there. This is uh, voiceover Sam, I guess. Um, so essentially, uh, what I did here was um, before I started recording, I kind of just prepared all the various pieces in um, this file. So you can see that I have all the different parts in uh, different layers. Um, so I just kind of spent some time beforehand cutting out um, all the bits and pieces of like Helen and the various um, objects that I'm going to use and the skyline. I ended up using this random shot that I happened to have taken, um, I think during the second episode um, of just the landscape. And then um, of course our kitchen setup, I ended up adding that in there. I almost didn't add it because I couldn't find a good place to put it. Um, I wanted to use this other alternative Helen um, picture here, uh, but it ended up being a little too heavy, if that makes sense. Like, um, I don't know how to, I, I wanted it to be kind of, it's like a, she's sad, but it's just kind of a stupid, funny picture, not too much, not too like dark or whatever. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but definitely once I added the, the grilled cheese in the spaceship, it lightened things up a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, I'm thinking I will definitely, I'd like to try out some, uh, videos of, uh, other Sims art stuff. Like I, uh, mentioned I was getting into, um, uh, Sims 4 renders in Blender, the render blender, Blender renders. Um, I think that would be a fun thing to do. I, I discovered a, um, cool, uh, Sims 4 pose pack that has to do with a, posing with a cow plant. And I figured out how to put it, get a cow plant model into Blender, and so well, uh, that might be kind of something I'll mess around with soon. Um, oh yeah, also uh, probably should have mentioned this. Um, I did make this final piece into a, a recolor of a, a Sims 4 paint, a Sims 2 painting, not Sims 4. Um, could do a Sims 4 painting too, but. Um, so I, I do have that linked down below. I'll, I'll uh, post uh, or I'll share at the end of the video here a picture of it after I share the, just kind of the final piece and stuff. Um, this overall editing process, fast, when it's fast forwarded, was a lot shorter than I um, expected it to be. It's about 500 times speed, or 500% speed, I should say. Um, that's how Premiere does it. Yeah, I, I did a lot more screwing around before I started, or I did record some other like experimentation that I didn't end up using, so I just didn't end up showing it. Um, but yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll be pretty cool. I may end up using other, uh, making other little bits and pieces with it. Um, if I do make any more, I will post them on my Tumblr, which is just Sun Sundog Sims. Um, on Tumblr. I have it, always have it linked in the description. Um, that's where I do most stuff for Sims and I'll always share on there. Um, I'll just, that's also where I'll have the post for um, this download of this piece as well. But I was thinking about doing some more like isolated pieces of Helen, um, almost like when I did the Bella Goth ones, um, variations of the Bella Goth art I did. Um, maybe do something like that for Helen. But 
yeah. So pretty much this is this point we're headed toward the end here. find a little zoom out I really like the colors um, I really love uh, for some reason green and magenta like right next to each other or green and pink right next to each other and then the blue kind of get those three colors going on and I really like that um, and then this is a screenshot of the uh, in-game one it overrides or it is a recolor for the um, the painting that's the um, lady with like the thought bubble it's like the comic book lady um, I think it's called a sim noir I'm pretty sure is what it's called but yeah all right I guess that's it I hope you enjoyed the sort of finale of this series uh, thanks for watching <laughs>